Welcome to Engineering Scale Models. I'm Jason, your host, and I do models. This is going to be another branch of my electronic series, talking about some logic gates. This time we're talking about the 74LS series of logic, and we're going to start with the first one. It is 74LS00. And what is a 74LS0? It is a 14 pin NAND gates NAND gate and there is four of those so it's a quad NAND gate so it's got four NAND gates on it and a NAND gate looks like this it's got the inversion bubble here and you have a B and then you have your output if we make a truth table a B output so we have zero one zero 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 one one zero one one so we're gonna get the inverse of whatever we put in and an AND gate they both have to be the same for it to change so in a normal AND gate a zero zero would give you a zero but in this case it gives you a one and then we have a zero one they're not the same so it's going to be the inverse which would be a one and a one zero it would be normally a zero but the inverse is a one and then when they're both high you get a low so that is a NAND gate and a NAND gate is a universal gate. You can use a NAND gate in different combinations to, to let me just move this up out of here. Let's just move this out of here. You can use this in different combinations to make inverters. To make inverters nor and so a NAND NAND gates NAND gates can be turned. Wow, I just words not coming to me. And can turn into the basic. Gates. And what are the basic gates? You have your NOT gate, your OR gate, and your AND gate. Okay, so you can use a NAND gate to make all these gates. So you can make an inverter, an OR gate, and an AND gate. And we're going to take a look on how to do that right now. So let me pull up. Let me go up here. Let me pull up this system put it on the right screen then we're going to look at this data sheet but i want to talk to you more about the and gates here so here's the nand gate here is your standard nand gate here you have your a and b is the inverse so if they're both a zero you have the output is a high so the led is on if i click one it's still on if i click both of them it's off I turn off a it's back on if I wanted to make an inverter, I would just tie both inputs together, and now A is zero, and it's a one. And now A is a one, and it's a zero. So a NAND gate inverter, A equals not A. You just tie them together. And if you want to make a NAND gate, you just come over here, and you take one NAND with your A and B input, and then you have your NAND gate tied together to that output so you're basically taking a NAND gate and putting an inverter on it and if I do it's off right now with two zeros is off that's how an AND gate works and if I turn on both of them the light comes on only comes on when one of those is on and then you can also make an OR gate so here's a NAND gate as an OR gate A and B will be A or B in A or gate. So if I turn on A, the light lights up. If I turn on 
B, the light lights up. If I turn on both, it lights up. So that is an OR gate made out of NAND gates. Now if I wanted to make a NOR gate, I could just put another NAND gate and invert the signal. So that's how that would work. So you can use NAND gates as a universal gate. So if you need, so you, you know, you need inverters and NAND gates and you don't want to use two chips, you can turn one of the NAND gates into a, um, a, a inverter and then you can use that. So let me go up here to my data sheet here. Let me go to my data sheet. This data sheet. Okay, so I have my data sheet here. This is the, um, we, we're doing the 74 LS series. There's a lot of different um, functions. There's a military grade one. Um, I'm doing the LS, which is the low shots key. So um, it, um, here's the diagram for it here. That one, no, I can't make that one bigger. So, and we come down to the pinout. So here is the pinout for this chip. You got pin A and B, and then you have pin 1A, 1B, and then your inverted output will be on Y, and then you have 2A, 2B, inverted output on Y. You have VCC on 14, and pin 7 is your ground. So if I, if I come back to this screen here, zoom this in here scroll down to that I'll show you what I'm talking about with the pins so if I come in here like this so this will be my plus 5 volts volts and this is my ground right here so this this group right here is a NAND gate this group right here is a NAND gate this group is a NAND gate and this group is a NAND gate. So there's four NAND gates. So you would have one and two is your input and three is your output. So that would be how the chip works. Let's take a look at the chips here and I'm going to hook these up live for you. Let's go to there. It's always interesting hooking up something live to see if I make mistakes. So here is the chips. If you guys just want to practice and play around with logic chips, you can get these little kits. This is the 74 LS series logic kit assortment. It comes with um, a variety of logic chips. This chip, chip we're using is in here. Um, these are like $7 on Amazon. So you can get this or you can buy a bulk set. I use a lot of these chips so I have a bulk set. But this is a nice little kit. has all the basic chips. You can learn about them learn how the different gates work and all that good stuff so now let's take a look here so we're gonna want to hook this up so we need um, ground in we're gonna have two circuits we're gonna have one circuit showing us a NAND gate and one circuit showing us an inverter and then I showed you how you can convert those on the chart so we're gonna connect power pin 14 and then ground to pin 7 so these can be tricky here this is a good breadboard but sometimes it gives me issues and I'm going to go ahead and hook up my second chip as well And you know when you're hooking these chips up, don't have power to the board. I mean, I've seen people do it in videos, but I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend more than pumping five volts into these. I would use a power supply, all that good stuff. You could even put some capacitors across the plus and minus to work that out. So I want to take input one. Let me get my jumper wires here. So I want to take input one, which is going to be my red LED, 
and I want to connect it to pin 1. So I'm going to take my high spot, connect it to pin 1. I made a mistake on this yesterday. And then I'm going to take my second one and connect it to pin 2. And then I'm going to take my out and connect it right here. So pin 3 is connected there. So in theory, I should be able to power this up with my bench power supply at 5 volts. The light should come on, and the blue light should come on, and then if I press 1, the A or B lights up, A lights up, and if I light both of them up, the main light goes off. So I got the inverse. They're both off, 0 and 0, and I got it on and then I got the inverse there. Now let's look at a, I'm going to turn off my power supply, and let's look at making a NAND gate into an inverter. So I'm going to take my switch power here, and I'm going to go into pin 1, and I'm going to put a jumper between pin 1 and pin 2. jumper between pin 1 pin 2 here so they're connected just like I showed you in the in the graphics and then I'm going to connect pin 3 not with that wire throw that wire away I'm going to connect pin 3 to my LED I'm going to turn it on you see the light lights and if I press the button I inverted the signal so I made a inverter. So it's a zero, now it's a one, it's a one, now it's a zero. So that is NAND gates. So that is your 74LS00. We'll come back over here to the data sheet and wrap it up with some specifications. So, so if you look here, here is your pin configuration for your LS um, are 74 different packages where is this pin function so you have the supply voltage and max you can have is 7 volts okay if you have the LS um, the LS series chip the max is 7 volts on the inputs so when you're going to measure that high you don't want more than seven volts put in there and then um, that's temperature um, electric static discharge um, here's the recommend operating conditions so for this um, 74 um, which would be this LS series here um, the minimum you want to run about for for just the best efficiency out of your part you want a minimum of 4.75 volts that's nominal at 5 volts but you want to max your cap out at 5.25 volts so um, your um, high level uh, it reads a high at 2 volts it starts to read a high at 2 volts and then on the LS00 input is 0.8 so it it reads a low at 0.8 so it reads a low at 0.8 and then you have the um, there's your output currents it doesn't um, doesn't really do too much output current so um, recommended temperatures um, minimum zero maximum 70 degrees Celsius um, then we have our thermal emery. so that that's basically all we need to know on this so let's that down let's come back over here so that was the 74 L s 0 0 and it was a quad
NAND gate. So it was a quad NAND gate. So that's going to do it for this. You can check me out on social media. You can also support me on Patreon if you so choose to. Thank you very much and have a fantastic